что наша страна находится в стадии войны, поэтому мы можем много что рассказать общественности, мировой общественности и показать все-таки лицо кибервойны. A global cyber attack. We've never seen anything on this scale. It can travel from computer to computer. Hospitals paralyzed, computers had shut down. WannaCry is different. I think WannaCry is a great example of how nation states are impacting businesses and ultimately individuals as well. We had over 19,000 appointments cancelled, and those are people who are worried about their um, cancer appointment or their appointment for an operation. I was diagnosed with a heart murmur, which was the start of the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It's a very serious surgery. I wanted my life back. After I'd had my chest shaved at six o'clock in the morning, the doctor looked very, not upset, but concerned, shall we say. And he said, we've been hacked. Uh, all our systems are down across the whole hospital. He telephoned me, obviously, and said, it's not going to happen. And he was, he was in shock. Suddenly, we discovered that a bit of our society, a bit of our social infrastructure could be switched off. Wanna cry? It was a kind of a warning shot. The malware crippled computers across Ukraine. Perhaps the most sophisticated in a series of attacks taking control of computers and demanding digital ransom. The list of companies impacted around the world is growing. I think what not Petya represents is not just the evolution of the attack in terms of the methodologies involved but also the evolution of intent. Ну, чтобы понимать, что за два с половиной часа, 10 часов утра, пол Украины уже было поражено. We have TV station who've been on the air when their computers just died. You cannot receive cash in ATM machine because ATMs also were, uh, doesn't work. It was real shock for Kyiv citizens. 75% of my clients were affected by Peter. Some companies were destroyed totally. They didn't understand why they're losing their job. Everybody is just thinking, we hope this will never happen again, but I'm afraid this will happen again. One of the objectives in the cyber attacks we face is disruption. To stop operating, to create significant burden to the life of the citizens, governments, businesses, where the cost of doing business or recovering is extremely high. In 2017, a lot was the same. Cyber attacks were happening, they were affecting organizations. What changed was the impact on our lives. It was the most awful time, because I didn't know what was going to happen now. Stop and think about what it means in real terms to real people. It isn't a machine you're affecting, and if it is, maybe that machine's keeping somebody alive. Ultimately, all of us pay the price when it comes to nations in particular who are attacking each other by using us as the means. What are we doing to come together? If we don't have this conversation now, when it happens and we all retreat behind walls, that is when this becomes a catastrophic event globally. And we need to do everything we can to at least talk about these issues before it happens.